Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust on Console. This is my lovely little Xbox and PlayStation crossplay Pv uh, PVE server. And you may be wondering, oh, this is very nice, but how do I stop other people getting onto my server? Well, you've got two options. There's the password and the whitelist, and I'm going to show you how to set them both up uh, in just a mo. Um, however, the whitelist is a bit janky. So if you're coming here looking for solutions as to why it doesn't it doesn't work, then um, I'm going to give you some options. But I think we might have to wait a few more days or a few more weeks for G Portal to sort everything out and um, to make sure everything's right. So let's jump over to G Portal, and you'll want to go to your G Portal Rust Console Edition dashboard, and you want to go to Basic Settings like you see here. And if you scroll down, you can put the name of your server on. And if you put a password on here, for example. Um, and then you, you save, and so the, the server will restart. You'll then have to enter a password when you join the server. However, as I said, um, once you've entered the password once into the browser, the in-game browser, it remembers it, and you don't have to enter it again. So passwords aren't that much of a hassle. The catch with passwords, obviously, though, is that they can be shared around. It means that people could get onto your server who you don't want to. The safest way is always with a whitelist you can see here enable whitelist and what you do with the whitelist is the server holds a list of usernames or gamer tags for xbox or playstation and then when you go to join the server it checks your username against the whitelist and if you're on it you can get in and if you're not you get off the catch is it's not working brilliantly at the moment uh, it's working a little bit inconsistently now the other thing that you'll need to do as well is, although I've put mine underneath custom boot commands, the actual way that they're recommending you add people to the whitelist or remove them is via the console. So if you click on the console button over on the left underneath settings, this gives you the direct access to the program that's running your server, rustserver.exe, for example. And what I'll do is I'll also put a link to this little article by G Portal about how to set up a whitelist on your Rust console edition because what you can do is you can copy and paste um, what it says. So basically, what you would do is you would copy and paste to put someone onto the whitelist. You would copy. You could copy that, and I'll put it in the description below this video. Um, and then you would go to your console, and then you would paste it in, and you would put it in there. Now. The problem is around quotation marks and special characters and or spaces in gamer tags or usernames. So, for example, if I add myself to my own whitelist, scale speeder like that, uh, it will say, right, I've added scale speeder to the whitelist. If I type whitelist, it should give me a list of people. So at the moment, there's only one user on the whitelist, which is Scale Speeder. Um, however, I do have an alternative um, account. So let's go back to basic settings. And that is Scale Speeder 78, hashtag uh, 784. So if we go back to here and I go back to the console. Sorry, I'm clicking around like crazy, aren't I? And I put that in. What they're saying is that if your um, username or gamer tag has a space in, or perhaps an unusual um, character um, like this, then you should put it inside quotation marks like I have here. So we press enter, and that's added scale speed of 784. So now if we go whitelist, and we see who's on it, we've got scale speeder, and we've got scale speeder 784. However, what I would do as well is I would also add it like this. I would add it scale speeder 784. There we go. That's now added to the whitelist. Um, in fact, so let's do an example with the space in then. So if we... If we did say scale speeder space 784, what I'm expecting it to do is just add scale speeder and probably not the 784. Yeah, it's not recognizing that. Yeah, so if you want to, if you want, if it's got a space in, you really do need to put in the uh, inverted commas. So scale speeder space 784, and that will add. 
See, that hasn't recognised it either. Added 7842. See, it's added the number 784 and scale speeder. So I don't think it's working properly at the moment. But hopefully, by the time you watch this video, it will be working and you will just be able to put in global whitelist ID and then that. And then what you can also do is you can remove people with global remove whitelist and you can put it there that way. For now, though, if you are having trouble um, with this, I definitely recommend you disable the whitelist. Um, and you just go to uh, a password and, and just run it with a password because that way it does seem to work consistently at the moment people can come on come and go it's relatively easy because the server browser recommend um, remembers the password you've put in and then maybe in a week or two from the 5th of December 2023 the whitelist will be working consistently and then we can go over it is possible to get them working consistently because they work consistently on DayZ community servers so I don't see why they can't but I think it's something to do with special characters and spaces and things like that Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.